In this tutorial, we will be learning about vertical compressions and expansions being applied to conic sections. When applying a vertical compression or expansion to a conic section, it should be applied directly to Y, making sure to place both the transformation and Y in brackets. Expansions are applied as a fraction. An expansion by a factor of D would be applied as 1 over D multiplying the Y. Compressions are the reverse. A compression by a factor of 1 over D would be applied as D multiplying Y. First, we will look at a circle. Here is both the equation and graph of a circle. Now apply a vertical expansion by a factor of 3. To do this, we multiply Y by 1 over 3. We can see how the graph of the circle changes as well. Next, we will apply a vertical compression to the original circle by a factor of 1 half. We do this by multiplying y by 2, and we can see how the graph changes accordingly. Next, we will look at an ellipse. Here is both the equation and graph of an ellipse. Now apply a vertical expansion by a factor of 4. To do this, we multiply y by 1 over 4. We can see how the graph of the ellipse changes as well. Next, we will apply a vertical compression to the original ellipse by a factor of one-third. We do this by multiplying y by three, and we can see how the graph changes accordingly. Third, we will look at a hyperbola. Here is both the equation and graph of a hyperbola. Now apply a vertical expansion by a factor of three. To do this, we multiply y by one over three. We can see how the graph of the hyperbola changes as well. Next, we will apply a vertical compression to the original hyperbola by a factor of one-fifth. We do this by multiplying y by five, and we can see how the graph changes accordingly. Finally, we will look at a parabola. Here is both the equation and graph of a parabola. Now apply a vertical expansion by a factor of two. To do this, we multiply y by one over two and we see how the graph of the parabola changes. Next, apply a vertical compression to the original parabola by a factor of one-third. Multiply y by three. This changes the graph accordingly. In this lesson, you learned about vertical compressions and expansions of conic sections. That for a vertical expansion by a factor of d, you multiply y by one over d remembering to put the factor being multiplied and y in brackets. You also learned that for a vertical compression by a factor of 1 over d, you multiply y by d. These rules apply to all of the conic sections.